What is up guys, Matt here with CryptoBlick. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Today I'm gonna show you how to update your Trezor Model 1 and Model T today. So if that sounds good to you, let's hop in and let's make it happen. So a quick tip here. So I get a lot of people asking me if a particular crypto asset is supported on the Trezor products. Well, a great way to do that getting a quick answer is just go to trezor.io, go to their website, this right here, where it says plus a thousand or more, just click on that, and then you can search from here for your particular asset. So let's do Cardano. As you can see, I've searched for it in the past, okay? Right there, it lets you know that the Model T, it's supported, but you have to use these different wallets here, the ADA Lite wallet, which is what I like, and then there's two other ones that you can use. Um, let's do, uh, let's tech, check out Sheeb because that's a popular one for a lot of people. So it is supported on Trezor 1 and the Model T and uh, also on the Trezor Suite. So that means you can use the Trezor Suite, which we're going to be updating here in a second. But uh, let's try, uh, let's do, oops, I got a spell, Bat token here. So basic attention. So yes, it is available on both products and on the Trezor Suite. So that is a quick way to find out what particular asset is available within the Trezor uh, product selection, okay? So if you have one of those products, you can quickly see, does this weird you know, crypto asset that I have, is it supported? All right, let's move forward. Now, in this video here, I'm gonna show you how to update not only the Trezor Suite, but also your, as I said, your Model 1 and your Model T here. If you have any particular questions, just leave them in the comments section below. And guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel as that helps me bring more content to you and you stay more up to date on when I release videos. Um, but let's hop in it here. So the my Trezor suite is letting me know that, hey, there is a new version available. Here's what's in that version here. You can read more on that uh, particular release if you want to. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and click start update. Oh, and, and really quick here. Do not go anywhere else to download this Trezor suite because there are uh, other scams that are out there that get you to think, oh, I have to have this Trezor suite, then I have to give them my 24 keyword seed phrase. Do not do that, okay? Don't do that. Uh, Trezor will not ask you for your 24 keyword seed phrase, okay? And, and always make sure when you go to their website that is the particular website that it is theirs it was not like an ad that you clicked on on your browser then took you to a suspicious trezor website you want to make sure it is their particular website so that you are downloading the correct software all right so let, let's say you do come to their website here trezor.io all right and you're like okay i'm here i don't have the suite yet let's go ahead and click on the suite okay and then it's going to uh I, i'm on an apple obviously but if you were on a windows or linux you could select which one and then get the desktop app and then, of course, it's going to download appropriately. And I already have the app here, so let's go ahead and select that. We're gonna do Start Update. It's then going to download that update here. All right, there we go. So then uh, Restart and Update. It's then quickly going to then re-upload the app. It'll start up here in a second. Okay, awesome. So now it's saying that it was installed successfully, but I do not have a Trezor plugged in. So let's uh, let's do the Trezor one first here. Okay. If there's anything on the screen that pops up, I'll, I'll let you guys see. So you can just see it has the logo there, has uh, whatever artwork I selected, and then it's gonna have some random, uh, if you can see, there we go. It has uh, different numbers here on the screen. And then on uh, the actual enter pin screen here, you're gonna see a bunch of dots. So you're just gonna correspond your four digit pin with those dots in that placement there, okay? So then it's going to do an update. It's gonna go back to the Bitcoin screen that I have here on my Trezor One. And then it said, hey, a new Trezor firmware is available. Please update your device. So it's letting me know here on my Trezor uh, Model One um, that there is a new firmware upgrade for here, not just the software that I had the Trezor suite, but the firmware here on this bad boy. Uh, I wanted to do this video so you could, guys could see how to update this as well. So let's go ahead and click on update. Okay, so that I've, I've had 1.10.4, let's do it to 0.5. And that says, uh, do you have your seed? So that 24 uh, seed phrase, yes, I do. I have it saved, it's, it's protected. We can move forward here. And then, okay, it says, uh, reboot your Trezor into bootloader mode. So on your screen, it's gonna say, do you want to restart device in bootloader mode, okay? And then you're gonna do cons confirm. Can you guys see that there? 
come back here. there you go you see that there okay so then you're gonna click on confirm it's then gonna do it in bootloader mode here okay and then on the screen here on my laptop device is ready install firmware Okay, you're also gonna see um, install new firmware question mark. Never do this without your recovery card or re you know, I say your recovery seed here. You're gonna see it right there, perfect. And then click continue. And that's, you know, preparing. You're gonna see a progress bar there. All right, fantastic. So then it is completed here. You're just gonna see your loading or your particular art screen there. Click close. It's then going to ask me to put in that pin number again. So let's go ahead and uh, based on what I see here on my screen here, I'm gonna select the appropriate numbers to log in. All right, so now I am in my Trezor suite. My firmware is updated on the uh, Model 1. And if you were curious about um, any information on it, just go ahead and click settings. You could do device. You could see check backup if you want to. You can see your firmware version. Uh, click up to date. You can see okay, yeah, it's up to date. I'm 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 good there. And then you can also come to application. And if you wanted to make sure that your software was up to date, say like at another time, just scroll on down here to suite version. You can see that shows 22.1.1, uh, which is the current one. But you could do check for updates. You could check it there. Great. No new updates available. So you know that everything is good, and you can move on forward here. Okay. Let's go back to the dashboard. And then I'm going to uh, plug in my Model T and we'll update that one. So I now have my Model T plugged in here. You're gonna see it's gonna show my name and it says uh, not connected, so I need to tap to connect. Tapped it, it's gonna then ask for my pin, that four digit pin for this particular uh, hardware wallet. So let's go ahead and put that in. So it's verifying the pin here, done. And then you're just gonna see that uh, logo screen. Of course, it will update if there's anything that needs to be updated. But you're just gonna see that logo screen there. On the, the dashboard here for the Trezor suite, you're gonna see any information that you have transacted with here on the system. And then it's showing me that there is no new firmware update, excuse me, for the uh, Model T. But let's just double check. Let's, let's assume that, hey, maybe, uh, the banner didn't pop up saying there's an update. Let's come over to settings here. Okay, let's do device. And let's just check the firmware. Let's uh, let's just double check that. Yep, so current is 2.4.3. I do have that current firmware on the Model T, so we're good there. If I want to check one more time on the software, you know, just like before, come on down, sweet version, under applications, and then check for updates. And then boom, no new updates available. So I always do that just to make sure everything's correct here. So um, that is how you check and make sure that everything is updated, not only the firmware versions on your hardware wallets, but then also the software for your Trezor suite. And that is how you make sure that your Model T and your Model 1 here is updated appropriately. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like uh, the video, subscribe to the channel, and, and comment down below if you guys have any particular questions on maybe this video or anything else related to Trezor. I will do my best to help you out any way I can. If I don't have an answer, I'll do the research um, if I have the time, which I I've often do from time to time, and, and, I'll, and I'll comment to you here. So I always like reaching out to my community and helping them out any way I can. So guys, if you found this helpful, again, like this video and subscribe to the channel, and until next time, I'll see you when I see you. Over and out.